Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, I have completed my terrain square. i just got to paint it now. So I'll just go over all the last details that I've put on. Um, I won't have my camera on the tripod just because it's easier to show you. Um, now, I don't know if you noticed, but my door is not actually in the central position. Um, and I did that on purpose. I wanted it not to be too symmetrical if I could help it. Um, and to set that off that the door wasn't in the centre position, I, what I've done is I put two um, like um, sections of Goliath going up and down here. Um, so obviously on that side it's just one. So I thought it would just make a point of interest really that it is a little bit different. And um, you know there's some sort of writing on here indicating what this building actually is. Uh, so as well as that I put some sand just in the door areas and in the corners. Um, in the corners of most of the little building sections. Put some Goliath on there just to match in with this one. Um, and then in here I've got some more sand going in, some bits of Goliath just on the rubble. This is in the rubble format, I'll show you it in its power station version in a minute. Um, and then again I've got some Goliath on the corners just to represent that there was big like sections of Goliath going up here um, and also in here. And uh, as you can see, I've got some more just going in here as well. So um, if you watch my previous videos, you'll know that um, all these bits are magnetised. So first of all, we've got that one which goes in there. Um, so that's just going to basically permanently stay there, but it's magnetised to make it easier to paint. Um, I've also undercoated these bits. These bits are the frames that go around the door eventually. Um, and I've magnetised, sorry not magnetised, I've uh, sprayed the steps for the portal as well. Uh, put that little glyph above the door there just to finish that off quite nicely. Um, and yeah the rubble, <coughs> excuse me, um, as you've seen previously this is all magnetised so this will uh, magnetise onto the sides of the board just to give it a little bit more of a um, natural sort of uh, rubbled look because you wouldn't really just have rubble on the out, uh, inside of the building you'd have it on the outside as well and that's it with its uh, pylons in and uh, as you saw previously I've got these sort of extra bits um, and they're designed to go on this section so one there and one there you go so that's it in its um, in its finished state so yeah, very very happy with it. Um, obviously, I've got to uh, paint it up, and um, yeah, that's it really. I mean, I'm I'm really liking it. Um, I'm liking the idea that when you put the piece down, you could potentially say, well, actually today I think I'm not going to have that bit of rubble in there, and then you could just like uh, pop that one in. I find the magnets. Where are you? There you go. Uh, you could pop that one in, and uh, all of a sudden you've got a different piece of terrain to play on. So. Yeah, it's um, it's good. I like it. So hopefully you like it too. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint this up uh, black. I'm going to have to hand paint it, obviously, uh, because of the the polystyrene stuff. Don't want that to melt. Um, and I'll be back when I have more done. Thanks for watching.